guys and welcome back to Kate in the City. Today I have a really great episode for you. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about pest control. Okay, now whether you're a beginning gardener or an expert of 50 years, you I'm sure have had run-ins with pests and they can cause a huge trouble. Now, uh, especially on your indoor garden, you don't want any type of um, bug infestations, whereas outside you do want to introduce those beneficial insects to eat the ones that are going to destroy uh, your plants. But inside you want to be a little bit more uh, sanitary, you don't want bugs in your house, um, and oftentimes people don't want bugs in their greenhouses. Uh, so right now I am struggling, I'm struggling so badly with an aphid infestation in my indoor garden. And so I've tried everything, you know, I've searched through Google and Yahoo Answers and YouTube on different ways to control aphids. And now I don't want to use any type of chemical sprays because all of my plants are edible and uh, I don't want to have any chemicals on them. You know, I do like to have an all natural method of growing. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make some strips um, because, you know, all the insecticidal soaps, uh, oil and water solutions, things like that. I've tried so many things. Um, peppermint extract. I've tried chili. Um, making like a hot spicy chili solution, uh, vinegar and water, and just nothing has worked. So we're going to go ahead and try this. And the one thing that I've seen online is that you want to use yellow. Okay. And uh, there was a really great video from California that I will post in the link in the description down below. So you can check that out as well. And they were using yellow solo cups in order to control the infestation. Um, I went to the store, I couldn't find yellow solo cups. I thought about painting them and then I said, you know, um, I could make it a little bit more like a sticky strip and it may work out better for me anyways. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring it in a little bit closer and we'll show you what we got and how we're going to put these together. Okay guys, so this is what I'm going to be using to make these sticky strips. Um, I have a couple pieces of yellow paper that I folded into thirds and then I folded in half so that each one will make six squares. And these were ones that I wrote on before, just scrap paper that otherwise I would have burned or thrown out or something, you know? So, uh, you know, it's definitely good to reuse something if you can. I have some flyers out of the newspaper that I'm going to use to be covering my work surface because this will get a little bit messy. I have a permanent marker as well as some scissors. This is a general all-purpose um, spray adhesive made by 3M, uh, but you could use any type of spray adhesive. I have some petroleum jelly. And in here, what I have is I mixed uh, some honey with water, about a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, and the reason I did this was because I think that since many bugs are attracted to pollen, nectar, things like that, that the honey would help to attract them. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually make three different types of fly strips, one with each of these, and we're going to put them around the plants and we will see which one collects the most bugs. Okay, so we will start.
Okay, and once you get them all labeled, then you're ready to start coating them. So what I'll do is I'll start with the honey. Okay, once again, I just mixed uh, one and one ratio, honey and water. You can do this with your hands, but I think that I'm going to do it with a wooden stir rod just to make it a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour just a little bit of this into the center of the paper and then use the wooden stir rod to just kind of coat the whole thing like this. All right, and then we're just going to put it to the side and we will do the rest of ours. Okay, so once you get all of these done, they don't need to dry or anything, what we're going to do is we're going to pick four pots and I'm going to put one of each of these in the four pots. So let's go ahead and take a look and hopefully this will work. So here we have a couple of pepper plants in a pot. Uh, so I've got my honey. And I'm just going to stick this with the sticky part up, just in there like that. And I'll take one of the adhesive. Let's stick that one over here. And the last one that we have is the Vaseline or petroleum jelly. And I'll stick that one here in the back. And we'll come back in a few hours and see what kind of bugs we have had. Okay guys, so it's been a full day and I pulled these off and I took a really close look at them and this is the result. So what we have is we have the four honey ones over on the left and as you can see on each one of these I wrote how many bugs I found on here. So uh, zero for all of the honey. It actually wasn't sticky. So once it dried, it was just like a piece of paper again, nothing to stick the bugs to. So these were definitely a no-go. Alright, then here we have the adhesive, and these ones definitely did the best. As you can see, this one was the most. It had 11 bugs that I found on it. This one had five. This one up here had two and this one had one okay and then we had the Vaseline ones and these ones didn't do great this one had none on it this one and that one both had zero bugs this one had one and the last one had two so not great, uh, the adhesive definitely did the best. And how I found the bugs is I used my little magnifying glass and I carefully looked through them because aphids are so small that you can barely, barely see them. Well guys, I hope you found this video informative. Um, I'll definitely be cutting up some more strips and uh, putting some spray adhesive on there because that did work by far the best. And so I think that I will be keep, uh, 
continue to do that. However, I think I'm going to cut the strips smaller so that they can fit into my plants a little bit easier. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit the bell down below. Make sure you subscribe and most of all share. Thanks for watching Kate in the City. See you next time.